This morning, we are catching up with a Hollywood star. Jesse Eisenberg receiving an Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Mark Zuckerberg in The Social Network. It is fantastic in that. He went on to pull off a, a, a sleight of hand heist in the film Now You See Me. And most recently, stars and it's a hit streaming series that we've become a huge fan of in our house it's called fleischman is in trouble mm -hmm, but for his latest project jesse eisenberg is behind the camera directing his first feature film it's called when you finish saving the world it tells the story of a mom and teenage son struggling to connect what the hell are you doing Installing a red beacon light so people know when I'm live streaming. And by people, you I mean, mean you. Well, I, I figured that, yes. And two of us are sent down. Well, it's nice to be there first. Yeah, so when this light is on, you don't knock or come in or make any noise. Oh, and when it's off, I am, I'm free to go about my business, to, to enjoy the rich pageantry of life. What? Yeah, sure. It's a, it's a good system. Uh, <laughs> ah, I love it already. Jesse, good uh, morning. Good morning. First of all, I love both of them. I know. Congratulations on your directing debut. I was thinking about it. We were talking about it this morning. You were here during the lockdown, or we were talking about yeah. the fact it was an audible project at the time, Yes, right? exactly. Yes, I was on your show. Thank you yes, for having me during course. the pandemic. I was sitting in a backyard because Wi-Fi only existed in this one little grass patch <laughs> in the house we were staying at. And yes, I was talking about this project, which was at the time an audible book, yes. and I adapted it into this movie. And look at you now. Now, this is yes, awesome. Yes, now I'm a star. Um, no, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> One awesome. thing I love about you, Jesse, you're, 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 you're so unassuming, but oh, yeah. you're so talented. Mm -hmm. You've got like six jobs. Oh, thank you. Uh, and now you, you're on the other side of the camera. Now you're, you're, you're playing director. What's it like being a director for the first time? And, and would the director, Jesse, mm -hmm. really enjoy working with the actor, Jesse? Ooh. <laughs> um, that's a funny question. Um, I had, like, this strange revelation watching these two amazing actors. And, Chanel, as you said, like, um, Finn Wolfhard and Julianne Moore, the leads of this movie, they're, like, the greatest. And I've always, like, been, you know, on sets and kind of, like, worrying about my day, stressed out, and not thinking what I was doing was interesting, valuable. I always thought it's, like, just a vanity, you know, and I was consumed with punishing myself for it. And then I was watching, like, Julianne Moore on set and just thinking, she's giving, like, this amazing gift, you know, mm. to me and to audiences by exposing herself emotionally, mm. vulnerably, publicly. And uh, it kind of allowed me to, like, appreciate my job a little bit, oh, which I and little, feel a little more comfortable in my own mm. skin. You she know? gave it life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's awesome. Exactly. You know, what's interesting about this film, it's about a, a, a teenage son and a mom who's drifting apart, having trouble connecting. You know, and, and the father of a being the father of three kids, and as they get older, uh, I worry about that. You know, as, as they you know they start to have their own lives. You've got a young son. Is it something yeah. that you think about or have started to think about as you watch your boy getting older? Yes, I'm both like terrified for my child having any autonomy whatsoever, <laughs> and I'm um, also so thankful when he exhibits a uh, different a personality trait than me. Yeah, because like I was just like praying, probably like a lot of parents do, like please just don't have all the things I had. Right. that I hate about myself. Yes, and then I like okay, married an amazing woman. I'm like praying, just be like her, you know, <laughs> just be like her. Please, just be everything like her. And for the most part, you know, he's heading in that direction, which is the superior choice. <laughs> <laughs> So you were also just in the hit show, uh, um, TV show, Fleischman is in Trouble, as you say. That's you love it, show. playing a dad, um, going through this ugly divorce. Fans of the show um, say it's, it makes you think about marriage and relationships, doesn't it? Why do you think this show has been such a hit? If the show is so unusually specific, and I think that's what makes it so wonderful. It's like the writer is this very brilliant woman, Taffy burdesser Ackner, um, who based the, based the show on her book. And it's so specific to this world, to this weird culture on the Upper East Side. Of people who are kind of like striving to be richer, even though they're very rich. Mm -hmm. And it's just this very weird, specific world that people who are not even in that culture can relate to because it feels so, I don't know, it feels so real and textured. Mm. Has, it, has it changed at all your, your view of the institution of marriage? Yes, it's made me grateful for the one I'm in. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, so in the show, Fleischman, like, my wife has these ambitions to kind of great wealth, and I have, like, more modest ambitions, and so there's just, like, a clash of values at the heart of it, yes. which is similar to what my movie's about. There's, like, just a clash of values between mm -hmm. the mom and son. And then when I go home to my wife, like, we just have the exact same sense of values, ethics, and, you know, world perspective, and so any, like, little arguments we have are, like, kind of smoothed out by that, because you walk away thinking, I just argued with somebody who I also think the exact same way. 
way as. Mm. You, you know, a lot of folks but right about this time, Jesse, have kind of given up on or, or faltering on their, their New Year's resolution. <laughs> I understand that you've just given up on that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, I gave, my, my New Year's resolution of 10 years ago is to never make one again because uh -huh. I made a, I come from a family of vegetarians and vegans. Oh. And so I like struggled to like adopt that lifestyle, which I support and agree with, but just not, you know, culinarily for myself or whatever. And so like 10 years ago, I was like, I'm going to be vegan. I'm going to be vegan. And like January 10th, I had a hamburger this was <laughs> 10 years ago. And like, and then I had like such awful food poisoning for like a week. Oh no. Not seeing where the hamburgers were. And, um, <laughs> but you've been there. Um, no, but, um, <laughs> no, but anyway, but anyway, like, uh, so I was just like, I can't make resolutions, and I also should probably stop yeah, eating meat anyway. So, yeah. do you eat meat? I do. I do, <laughs> okay. but, you know, but I, I come but from guiltily. a family. Guiltily. and my family doesn't, so it offsets my footprint, you that's know. That's so interesting. It yeah. offsets your footprint. Yes, You're that's how such it works. A great, You're so yes. funny. Oh, thank you. I'm and happy we to love A24. Oh, it's thanks. Everything they put yes. out is Gabby just... Edzi, can we say hi to her? Oh, sure. The amazing world assistant who's making the album for When You Finish Saving the World, and she's amazing at A24. She moved up the world, and she joined your Jesse, thank you for stealing my assistant. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. When you finish saving the world is in theaters this Friday. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.